Alright now, so we're going to start off by drawing a uh, an egg shape for the torso. So we're drawing a male, a masculine figure, a male figure with more uh, muscles. Later on I'm going to do one with a, a male figure with less muscles and then there's going to be a female one. Alright, so right now I'm doing crosshairs. So, you know, pay attention to the crosshairs because this is where you're going to know where to indicate, you know, where things go. So the cross here for the, the the circle cross here's for like the circle it leans more uh, back while the the cross here like in the bottom it leans it leads it leans more uh, forward you know the cross here where, where the pelvis is at you know so I'm using these uh, the pencils to like indicate the the positioning right. And so right now I'm just doing the the torso, the torso, uh, the the chest, the chest section of it, right now. And what you want to pay attention to when you're like making that curve all the way back up to the arm, uh, make sure it aligns mainly in the front area, like in the front area of the the circle. And so right now I'm also doing the same thing for the lats, aligning it to the front area of the circle. And so right now I'm also aligning, I'm doing the alignment for the center of the crosshair to the halfway point of the crosshair to create this uh, this uh, square structure for, for the male, for that uh, specific uh, point of the back. And then now it's just, you know, just drawing the, uh, the abs, the ab area and then. And so right now I'm focusing on the external obliques the uh, the ab abdominal area like at the sides you know the side muscle area so and, and it's located at the center of the uh, the muscle and it comes and it, and it and originates from like that that front area of the circle where everything is like uh, aligning at the top there it's, it's coming from that area like at the top and then I'm like squishing it a little bit I mean that's like that's kind of like the uh, just the gist of the shape And so right now I'm just going to be uh, squaring off and, and finishing off some uh, some things. So I'm going to square off the back and I'm also going to uh, make the neck portion of it. So right now I'm doing it right now. I'm, I'm squaring off the back and I'm, I'm leaning it towards making it a neck. So yeah, you have yourself a, a neck area. And so this portion, the sternioclavicomastoid, the, the long name muscle, then I that's that that long name muscle is going towards I towards like the the center of the, of your shoulder or or the clavicle bone is going towards the pit the the bottom area of the like the clavicle bone like where the V shape meets. I'm just gonna show a uh, a picture. So for short the S C M. So what for the SCM it should go beyond the, the front area of where the circle is and where the circle for the front area should also align where the, the neck is uh, being uh, ex ex extruding and how, how the neck is like uh, extruding here. And so right now I'm you know just aligning it the uh, I guess the second dimension of the, the chest towards the the middle area of the cross here if, if you can see that so it's, it's aligned towards the middle area of the cross here you know so i'm just highlighting it there like right here where the purple is is where you fully draw or where you fully bring your your chest muscle you know however the third the, the second dimension uh, line goes towards the center of the cross here which is located right, uh, right here.
And so right now I'm going to do a muscle formation that forms at the side of the ribs. So you're going to see that uh, it's going to end like where the, 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 the egg shape area of the top portion of the, the chest is. And I'm not doing it at the bottom because that's not where the ribs are located. And usually this is shown throughout the muscular figures that have good uh, side profile uh, muscles at that area. All right, so I'm just going to like highlight, uh, you know, again, to like just to reinforce, you know, certain things that I uh, mentioned in the, in, in the video, like what to pay attention to. Uh, remember that the, that uh, the top portion of where the, 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 the arm or the, that circle, it, it goes to the back and the bottom portion where the pelvis is or where the leg protrudes, it, it, it pushes more forward. And so this is the oblique section that I'm showing you guys where the muscle, the side muscle of it is at the abdominal area, you know? So right now I, I'm drawing this blob shape. If you can like remember that blob shape. So after you, you remember that blob water dropping shape, uh, make it more uh, structure, you know? And like two key points to pay attention to is like, you know, where the circle or where the, or where the, the egg shape meets the that the end part is where you diverge a triangle into the the, the circle area <clears throat> on the top like where the crosshair is located at you know and so right here this is what I mean by making the chest three-dimensional like this point that that matches with the center of the crosshair that, that I'm making right now I'm gonna like highlight it a bit darker but yeah, moving on to the, the female, it's similar to the male, however, it's more, it's more circular. So right now, again, I'm just going to start with the, the egg shape at the top and, and doing this, the exact same uh, similar thing. However, what you're going to notice is that the, the female's butt is pushed back while like the, the pelvis area is pushed back while the front area is pushed forward compared to the male which is the opposite you know so the, the, the pelvis area so so right now I'm, I'm showing you guys right now forward okay and so for the breasts you know I'm aligning that towards the the center of the of the, the, the crosshair on the top so if the person isn't muscular or too muscular or they're like just lean or just average usually the chest or where the the breasts are where you curve towards the crosshair it always goes towards where the center of the crosshair is so even if that muscular figure was just a bit more lean it'll also do that so I'm going to show you guys like you know in the next example of the drawing you know so back to the female again it's just curves is it's a lot less structure you can see that there's not as much, uh, you know, there's not as much structure happening right now. And again, for the neck, I'm using the, my crosshairs to, uh, to the, the neck where the neck uh, comes out is where you match with where the center of the crosshair, right? And so that's uh, the the sternoclavicle mastoid that I showed before is is not going to be as beefy as the male. So you can just use like one line. Or so and so like compared to to males and females you know females are they're more flowy males are more structured so you won't have to do as much with females just learn how to like take it easy just flow with it more so all right so they both have the same they both have the same like anatomy but again it's less visible on the female you know it depends if you want to make a musk a more muscular female that's up to you and uh, you know bypass biology and so right here i'm just going to highlight uh the differences of when you're drawing a male and a female so for females Again, where the, the egg shape 
or where that circle from the top of where the torso is is more pushed it to the towards the front and where the pelvis area is is more pushed towards the back you know so i'm drawing that line just to indicate so it's like reversed for for males you know it's just the opposite for males so you do the opposite of each other when you're drawing that that circle you know so i'm showing like the arrows to like indicate where where they uh where they go where the crosshairs go and so for the neck muscle that i was drawing earlier so for females you just have to put one line it's a lot less muscular however for males put two lines to just to give the illusion of, of like beefiness so i'm labeling them right now of these uh the two different like the necks or like uh the, the sternioclavical mastoid the, the that, that anatomy part of the neck so so yeah All right, so right here, I'm going to give you guys an example of a, a more lean male, not not too muscular. And so the, the same rules still apply. Uh, the, the crosshair should lean more back for, for the top part and for the pelvis part should lean more forward. So I'm just going to create the chest and it's going to go towards the, that center of the crosshair. And the neck is also, sh it should originate from the center of the crosshair. I did, I made a mistake there. But you know, I'm gonna correct it later on. This uh, drawing speed paint kind of thing. So, so yeah. So every so before for the torso for for the muscular. So right here, right here, is where the mistake was made. So it should kind of you know the the neck should come or and originate from from that area of where the crosshair is at. And for the torso, for before the males, the male had the males uh, chest area was going towards like the front but now i'm making it i'm making that that chest air go towards that center of the cross here because he's more lean so i'm going to show you guys like an example of that coming up uh, pretty soon there's going to be an arrow coming up just 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 wait for it just wait for it yeah i, I think it's coming up right now right now okay so yeah that air that air so the chest should you know lean here if if it's more lean and if it wasn't if if, it, if he's more like a, has more of a, a more structure more muscle to him then it should go towards the front and then there's another thing that's different but the lats of this more lean male figure is 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 closing in on like the upper the upper torso the upper rib cage of it like right here before i had the this the lats go towards like the bottom of it but since he's more lean more uh less less muscle then that's that's where it's gonna like uh become less so to say and so that'll be the video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all that jazz and yeah that'll be the video peace